This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. I guess one of the things... Oh, oh big trouble! trouble. Stretch. Steve Park, Kyle Petty, Todd Bodine got a piece of it, and I believe Christian Fittipaldi did also. Man, oh man. Well, that took six laps. Well, we see Todd Bodine in the 54 car, and it looks like Jeff Green gets in the back of the 30. Jeff Green in the one gets in the back of Steve Park, and up the hill he goes. Into the wall, and Kyle Petty. You just saw the leader, Jeff Gordon, take the caution flag. Second time tonight here in the Sharpie 500. A little chain reaction incident over in turn two involving Jason Leffler and Greg Biffle, among others. Also, Scott Wimmer involved. And you see Leffler looking like going to need a new radiator on the net zero car. Uh, yeah, that's not pretty. Here we go. I think everybody just checked up because Burton got a little bit loose there. And then it's the typical old accordion effect here, BP. Everybody checked up and we didn't see the car. Oh, Brian Look at by Jeff Gordon. Oh, oh, Newman can't hang on to it. And here comes the field. Man, oh, man. He's mad. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. There you go. That's How many we have to? We have to keep in track. All right, wait a minute now. We had four in the first one, right? <laughs> now he's trying to gather it back up and get back going in the right direction. He and Jeff Gordon making contact, bringing out the third caution here at Bristol. Is Borland hot or what? Well, he's watching his race. Oh, trouble. trouble! Michael Waltrip. Oh, he gets clobbered as Rusty Wallace had no place to go with Waltrip coming down the track. Oh, pretty good. Right into his path. Yep, you want to, a lot of times, nine out of ten times, you want to go above the crash if you're seeing it from here, because the cars always slide back down the racetrack. Oh, my goodness gracious. And I see why. As he goes down into turn three, he drops down, hits that apron, gets the car loose, and bam, and then the big bam. Oh, oh that was our camera. And the lights went out. It's Kevin Harvick second, Mike Skinner third, Mark Martin fourth, Ricky Rudd fifth. Ooh. Oh, three wide. Oh, Larry Foyt bumped yeah. by Jeff Green. Here we go. Those are three wide. Just doesn't work. Oh, no, we got another car spinning in the back. Joe Nemechek. And he gets hit by... Uh, that was uh, Bill Elliott. And Elliott got hit by someone. Now, watch Robbie Gordon. Robbie Gordon trying to get it back, but I don't think Jeff Gordon is going to give it to him back. Do you think? No. <laughs> So there we go. Spotters telling the drivers the cars are all off the track in the accident site. Up. Three wide does not generally work well here at Bristol, nor does it work well when one car gets run into the back up by another. <laughs> Larry Boyd in the spin cycle along with Joni Machek. You're watching NASCAR on TNT. <laughs> Jeff Gordon. Oh, oh, oh. Is there ever look at the back of the singular car? And he's going to get black flagged. Robbie Gordon is for the smoke. Uh-oh. Turn three. Big trouble. Tony Stewart, Joe Nemechek, Casey Mears. Now Bobby oh, Labonte Bobby. behind them. What a miserable corner for Joe Gibbs. You see Stewart limping away. Oh, and, a and the leader just got slammed. Just about got drove over by Sauter. Johnny Benson trying to get a lap back. And Jeremy Mayfield. Oh, man. Okay, that was interesting. That was really. What happened? Watch Matt Kenseth. Here he comes off the corner, he, and these cars behind him much faster than Kenseth. And here, Kurt Busch gets in the back of the 41 car, and Tony Stewart gets. Who's that? Everybody got hooked with Joe Nemechek. Joe Nemechek. Yeah. And Ricky Craven had to gather the oh, car. Oh, trouble off turn four. Ryan Newman goes around. Ted Musgrave, Jeff Burton in it. Dave, Dave Blaney's Blaney. in it. Caution's out. Looks like Burton got the worst of it. Tony Reigns is going to get his lap back. One of them. Yeah, one of them. Oh, man. See the uh, Ted Musgrave in the seven car? Looks like he got in the back of Ryan Newman. Got him turned around, and then he got turned around by Jeff Burton. And then he's going to get turned around by... Dave Blaney. Blaine. Blaine. There's four mad guys. 
as Jeff Gordon takes the lead away from Mike Skinner. The caution is out. Jeff Green has crashed. Well, that one car hmm, had a long night already. A lot of contact. That's exactly what happened, BP. Just a little touch like that. That was for 19th place. And it looks like, racing. oh, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, until you come up to that point. Great for the 31 car. Ricky, after the last call, she just kept saying, thank you, guys, thank you, thank you. This car is just so awesome. Troubles for Ted Musgrave. No caution yet. Now the caution comes out. Musgrave trying to limp around after getting squeezed into the backstretch wall. Up in turn two. Scott Wimmer sliding down to the bottom of the corner. No not caution. Not yet. He's off the racetrack. Should not be a caution. Got it fired. Got it fired. We're staying under green. Look at Robbie Gordon coming up alongside Joe Nemechek. Robbie back on track after losing six oh, trouble. Months for repairs. And he may have some more repairs to make yep. right now. Here, here's one thing. When you're 68 laps down and you start racing with guys, guys aren't going to put up with that. Still there. The other one's there. Inside. 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 Whoa. Hey, what? NASCAR in suspending. Whoop, got trouble. Christian Fittipaldi, front straightaway. Caution flag number 11. Uh oh. That's my number, wasn't it? I ain't have any more. Yeah. If it stays green, it probably just doubles you. Backstretch. Caught into the inside wall. It's Larry Foyt. And yes, the caution flag is out. The affirmative. Oh, no, that just got out from under him there. Then he got finished off. Another caution at Bristol. We'll be back. Rudd trying to go by Junior for the eighth position. Backstretch, car to the inside wall. It's Elliot Sadler. Up the bank, down the bank. And big damage. And the radiator is broken as you see that. Him mad. And Johnny Sauter. Yeah. And he tried to turn away from spinning out Johnny Sauter. And guess what? He's mad at himself. Mad at himself, yeah. Addy, oh, got a car in the wall. Turn four. Bobby the body. Caution flag is out. And this would be number 15. You play offense only so long at this joint, then you got to start playing defense. So just to finish the pit story, Ken Schrader took fuel only. He's fifth. And you've got Kenny Waller, Ricky Craven ninth, and a spinner down the front stretch and one into the outside wall. It's Mark Martin. Before we even get to tell you what happened to Mark Martin on his pit stop, he's into the outside wall. And, and Mark was in such a good spot. All right, here's what happened to bring out the caution flag. Top of the screen. Looked like Johnny Sauter and maybe Bill Elliott got tangled up. Boy, Mark just got collected <laughs> by Casey Mears. Well, there was a lot of... And a lot of people were about to... Oh, turn one, Sterling Marlin has crashed. Second place car. And the caution flag is out. He's going to get some help from Kurt Busch. Sure did. Hello. Oh, Jeff Gordon is up out of the groove off turn four. Troubles for the 24. Jeff Gordon was in third spot, but he slowed coming off turn four. Well, left side tires look good. Same thing happened to him last week at Michigan. Caution is coming out. Hearing that something has fallen off the 40 car. That's why his number is up on the black flag board tonight. The high so far this season was 17, done here at Bristol back in March. Jeff Gordon with his fresh tires. Oh! oh, Matt Kenseth in the traffic jam gets Gordon. Mm. Well, there's a caution flag that Jared needed, but it certainly wasn't. Yeah, he lifted right in front of me. That was Matt Kenseth on his team radio. 
Jeff Gordon with a beat up front end. Schrader's real slow right there. Gordon tries to duck down underneath him. Got tagged by the 17th car. I couldn't really. Third one in line. At 18th, they have made up a couple of spots. He said, you know what? We were not going to hold on the ninth where we were, and they're going to spin on the track. Tony Raines gets turned around in turn two. And the caution flag is out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, for a record tying 20th time. It is going to be interesting to see how the crowd reacts. Yeah. I mean, I, I still think, you know, a guy who wins at Bristol, drives his butt off for 500 laps. How can you boo that guy? You need to stand up and cheer because he did a great job. Kenseth on McMurray. McMurray's going to have to make that thing real wide. I don't think he can make it that wide. No, I don't think he can either. Three laps to go. Lap traffic ahead. Todd Bodine's car. Damn, we see an early crash. All that's going on, it's racing for second and third. Kurt Busch down to his final couple of circuits around Bristol. Looking for his fourth win of 2003. You know, we said it before, but it, it is worth repeating what a week it's been. And what a way to try and get things back on track where your racing is concerned. All the off-track items have been a distraction, but he's come out tonight and put it all aside and driven a very hard race. Final corner. And we'll see what kind of reception he gets in victory lane. It's checkered flag number four for 2003. Kurt Busch takes the Sharpie 500 at Bristol. Copyrighted telecasts may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. This has been a presentation of TNT Sports.